on this episode of Higher Order Outdoors. Join us as we take you to the backwoods of northeast Missouri and search a white-tailed deer for the opening weekend of rifle season. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Higher Order Outdoors. Uh, Dad and Kyle and I are headed up to Northeast Missouri. Uh, it's rifle season 2017, hoping to get a big buck down. We've got some uh, got some good deer on trail camera and we're looking forward to it. You pumped? Oh. You pumped? Kyle? <laughs> we're ready. I just saw what looked like a good buck. Um, there are two fingers out there, and he was running from the far finger um, closer to me. That far finger is about 300 yards out there. Uh, he hasn't popped back out with his first finger yet, but that's what I'm hoping he'll do, and he'll come um, west, right out into the field in front of me. Um, and I'll have a 200 yard shot or closer, which is a very makeable shot, that's what my gun sighted in at. Um, I didn't get a good look at him, but he had a huge body on him and he, he carried his main beams way out, so um, I hope he pops back out or, uh, or another buck comes through. Grandpa shot a small buck, so when I'm done hunting here, I will uh, go see what he got.
It was a good good morning. I uh, saw about eight deer, a uh, few bucks, and quite a few does. Um, wasn't able to get it done this morning, but Grandpa was nice eight point from Grandpa. I'm gonna head inside and get some food to eat and then I'll head right back out. So my dad texted me that he saw a big buck headed my way and I looked to the field south of me and I didn't see anything. He sent me another message saying that the buck was headed right towards the golf cart and I knew exactly where that buck was headed. He was coming right down the fence row. He was going to come straight towards the black blind and I turned around again and looked into the south field behind me which is actually the neighbors and the buck was right there. I mean he was less than 10 yards away from the blind he saw me and um, took off so I hit my grunt call as fast as I could and then he stopped and came across the fence row and unfortunately I didn't get the shot on film because it was a buck that I wanted to take whether I got it on film or not um, so I got the GoPro running but the camera wasn't rolling and um, I dropped him right in his tracks So I had set my gun on the stand in the golf cart and it had shaken the scope loose. And so all my shots were high. I shot over it four times and my dad had to make a thousand yard trek across horizontal cornrows to give me his gun so I could shoot it with his gun and put it out of its misery. texted me and said there might be a big buck coming in the field behind me. I looked behind me, there he was standing right there. He spotted me and took off down this way and I hit him with a grunt call. He came right across this ditch right here in the corner. I shot him, I dropped him right in his tracks. <laughs> what a story, man. Hey, high five, we kind of did that one together. We told him he was coming towards us and there's a bean field over there. He walked in the bean field. He came over there. He went back and came at that corner down there and he shot him. Pretty cool, huh? Good job with the video on that. For an eight year old, that's pretty so my dad and I struggled to get this deer up onto the back of the golf cart because it was just so big. It fell off twice on the way to the barn and we didn't even make it to the barn because the tire popped off the wheel halfway down the driveway. So we had to get my aunt's minivan and try to hook it up to 
the hitch and that didn't work so uh, we left the deer laying there until one of us could go get the four-wheeler and fix the tire on the golf cart. So after loading up the buck, we had to go get him tested for CWD. So that's what we did that night and um, hung out of the house. Uh, took Bryant the next day and he shot a doe. And the next weekend we came back up and I had my girlfriend Alyssa with me and Bryant. And we went out to see if we could get him a buck and get me a doe. Did you get a cat? Hi! Hi, kitty! You don't want to hear my long story because it just takes too long. <laughs> Walked out 80 yards, one shot, dropped dead. <laughs> We're back at the house after a good day of hunting. I got a doe. Here's Bryant. Bryant was hunting with me, weren't you? Mm -hmm. We saw a good eight point. Man, if he, he got just a little closer, he'd have been a dead deer, right? Yep. Yeah. So back at the house, we have a tradition. So here we've got Magic Mountain Bucks. And you put the date, there I am right there. First deer that we recorded was eight point. And then some good deer, good bucks. And then here's all the does. So I shot a doe. So here is my casing from my 270. Just gonna slide it right there. And I'll write my name. Cool?